Hey everyone, Tech here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix FaceTime audio issues that you may be experiencing, such as no sound, muffled audio, or connection problems. You want to follow these steps to fix it. So let's get started. Very first thing to just troubleshoot, make sure your phone is actually volume is turned up. So use the volume up button and just make sure it's turned all the way up just as a troubleshooting. And you want to make sure your phone is not on silent mode. With the ringer switcher, you want to make sure it's turned upward. Or if you have a phone, the newer phones, make sure you just press and hold on to this big uh, or this action button here until you can get it to turn on. So let's show you how that's done. So as you can see here, it's silent mode. And if I long press and hold, it's off. So just check that out. And the next thing you want to check out is that your phone is not connected to any Bluetooth devices. So in your settings, check here, make sure it's not connected to any Bluetooth devices that you do not want it to go to because it will pretty much go to there and the sound will not be coming well. Now, along with that, the next thing you want to troubleshoot is to make sure that your speakers at the bottom here are not clogged up with dust, dirt, or anything like that. You want to make sure those grills are clean so you can hear clear sound when it comes to any sound audio issues. Now, if you're still having issues, the next thing to do is go into your setting on your iPhone and then go all the way down to apps. And then we're going to look for the FaceTime setting. You're going to tap over here. And for that, you're going to go ahead and turn off FaceTime and then turn it back on. And that does a quick reactivation. So here, you'll wait a few moments and then Let's go back into FaceTime here and ensure it is working again. Should fix any audio issues. Now, along with that, the next thing you're gonna do is pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and turn it off as well. And that does a quick network refresh. So if you go back into your settings here, we want to make sure usually FaceTime works the best when it's on Wi-Fi. So make sure you have a good strong Wi-Fi and cellular data works as well. Make sure again you're in a good cellular region as well. Now, if you have done that and still having issues, the next thing to do is go into your settings, go to general, software update, and go ahead and update your phone to the latest version. Sometime a previous bug fix could be causing issues. It's always good to update your phone. Now, if it's still having issues, it's time to go ahead and just simply follow this step. So you're gonna quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then hold on to this side button here. And we're gonna wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears before we let go of that side button. And this is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code. So once I saw the Apple logo, I let go of it. And if it doesn't work the very first time, keep on trying. Again, this method is quickly pressing and releasing volume up, volume down, and then holding on to this side button just like that. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get the hang of it, but keep on trying. This method will not delete any of your data. And once you're back on, go ahead and try to use FaceTime and hopefully it is fixed. Now, if it's not a lot fixed, the next thing to do in your settings is go to general from your main settings. And then you're going to go to transfer reset iPhone, click on reset. And we want to reset the network settings. This will prompt you for your passcode. Go ahead and enter that. And network resetting is resetting things like saved Wi-Fi, any Bluetooth connected devices, and any connectivity issues that you're having. It will not delete any of your data, so it's safe to do as well. And finally, if that isn't working for you, you can also go ahead and delete and reinstall the FaceTime app by pressing and holding, remove, and then you're gonna go back to the App Store, go to the search page, and then search on FaceTime, and then reinstall it again. Sometimes that will also go ahead and update the app if you don't have the latest version as well. And one thing to also consider is if you put on a new case or a case that's blocking the speakers, especially that can interfere with the audio sound as well. So you might want to consider removing them. So that's all you need to do in order to fix any audio issues you're having with FaceTime. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.